Welcome to Indiana University School of Medicine Graduate Medical Education. Most residents and fellows choose IU School of Medicine GME training because of our academic excellence, diverse clinical opportunities, and commitment to our patients. IU School of Medicine residents and fellows thrive because of the school's commitment to individual attention and mentorship, their participation in innovative care, and unique contribution to renowned clinical, translational, and basic research. Now in our second century of GME training, we remain dedicated to helping you successfully complete the next critical steps in your medical education. We will prepare you for your future rewarding career in the medical field of your choice. Importantly, at IU School of Medicine, healthcare is a team sport. We strive to prepare each resident for success, leading today's complex interprofessional care teams. IU School of Medicine is the sponsoring institution for 100 ACGME accredited programs, which includes 32 residencies. Our over 130 fellowships offer specialized training in medical, surgical, and hospital-based focused areas. These residencies include statewide expansion rural and community-based GME programs in family medicine, psychiatry, and internal medicine. We have a strong relationship with our nationally recognized affiliated hospitals, including Indiana University Health, which includes the U.S. News World Report ranked Riley Hospital for Children, Eskenazi Health, Richard L. Raudebusch VA Medical Center, and our GME Expansion Hospitals located around the state of Indiana. In all of our GME-affiliated hospitals, the residents and fellows provide the care for primary and specialty young and older patients from around the Midwestern United States. As proud Indiana Hoosiers, we embrace Hoosier hospitality and the importance of an inclusive environment for all trainees. We have a long-standing commitment to wellness and unlimited opportunities for all our residents and trainees, especially given that some of our greatest successes in promoting resident wellness have resulted from resident-led initiatives. We're excited that you're considering becoming a part of our team and look forward to the opportunity to share what makes IU School of Medicine an outstanding choice for residency and fellowship training. There are many reasons IU School of Medicine is an outstanding institution, not the least of which is its leadership. Jay Hess has been here about six or seven years and he's done phenomenal things for the school. For example, um, this past year our NIH funding was almost $190 million. That's a 70% increase over the last four years. One of the great things is the success of our cancer center. It was just chosen to be a comprehensive cancer center, which makes us one of the 51 top cancer centers in the entire United States. As an example of the unique education opportunities as a resident here at Indiana University School of Medicine, I can tell you about what we're doing in radiation oncology. My residency program is having each of our residents write, develop, clinical trials, enroll patients on these clinical trials, and evaluate the results of these clinical trials during their four-year residency. That is an incredible, unique opportunity, and as far as I know, we are the only residency in the United States providing that educational opportunity. I've been lucky. I've trained in several places across the United States. I've trained in Baltimore. I've trained in Michigan. I've trained in Texas. I've worked in D.C., and I've worked in Baltimore yet again. And I can tell you, coming to Indiana University provided me opportunities that I would not have had available to me at these other places, and you will find the same. So I think that IU School of Medicine emphasizes the belonging in two ways. The faculty and staff just make this an all-inclusive environment, which makes it a good environment for learning and training. I will say another reason that I feel like this environment is so inclusive is that recently we had the White Coats for Black Matters march here, and it was just amazing to see everyone from various aspects across the School of Medicine be supportive of the event that was put together by fellows and residents like myself. 
We are having various activities around the campus and we are really focusing on creating a safe environment where we can talk about these issues and really try to see change. IU School of Medicine understands and celebrates the importance of having a diverse workforce and a diverse residency and fellowship community. We highlight our different identities as strengths that we bring with us to medical education, patient care, and research. Diversity makes us stronger, makes us better learners, providers, and educators. At IU School of Medicine, we strive to create a culture where everyone is welcome, respected, valued, and can achieve their full potential. At IU School of Medicine, we see you. I think wellness has to be approached from the beginning of residency and fellowship because it is the foundation for the longevity of your career. We try to make sure that you have adequate days to uh, spend quality time with your family. So we accomplish that with some golden weekends here and there. Uh, and we also have a really unique mental skills curriculum that really helps our residents uh, learn techniques to decrease stress, uh, to build resilience, to handle situations in the operating room and in the wards. Uh, and really it also helps them learn how to take care of themselves. Wellness really means that you can engage with others and you can engage in the environment that you're in uh, and that you can come to work every day energized and ready to give a little bit more of yourself. So the surgery program also uses a simulation center that is uh, equipped with both an ambulance bay, an emergency department, an operating room, and a virtual hospital. So. Many residents uh, across campus utilize this. In surgery, we do simulation activities with both emergency medicine and anesthesia. We utilize nursing colleagues. And so this interprofessional environment is important in the creation of our team structure and the idea of interprofessional teams. So this curriculum is incredibly robust. We have many faculty devoted to teaching in the skills lab, and this makes our curriculum extremely unique from the standpoint of residency training and surgery. One of our core innovative uh, features, I guess, of our of IU and, and certainly Department of Psychiatry and Addiction Psychiatry is that, you know, our, our doctors are trained to be collaborative with other types of doctors to know a little bit about their fields as well, very well-rounded uh, training. And this is what we need uh, for population health. We need doctors who are, you know, able to apply addiction psychiatry to pediatric situations, to uh, parents with babies and pregnant moms, uh, to older adults, uh, and to be able to work with other physicians across the specialties and collaborate with them. So there's a, there certainly is a very integrative opportunity here at IU School of Medicine uh, where so many specialties are represented and there's so many opportunities for our fellows, for example, to work not only with me as an addiction psychiatrist, but build out a practice with uh, other types of doctors. We've recently received a very large multi-million dollar HRSA grant that is designed to support the development of addiction uh, doctors all around the country. IU is one of only five addiction psychiatry programs to receive this award and what it allows us to do is actually expand our number of fellows that we train every year, expand our faculty and clinical care venues, and, and finally to develop a, a web-based platform to advance psych addiction psychiatry training and clinical practice throughout Indiana as well as the country. When you think about a, uh, an academic institution, you think about just university hospitals and, and not much community-based care. And I think that IU provides both, which is a huge uh, bonus to people who want to go either the uh, institutional educational route versus the community-based route, private practice route. And I think IU provides both very, very well. GME has prepared me for a practice after fellowship because my number one goal is to be in administration and clinical education, and IU has provided that opportunity to expand myself in those areas to the nth degree, and I'm extremely excited to keep on working with them for that. 
I'm in neurosurgery and I want to see as many cases as possible so that I get good training and good quality training in my residency. So that by the end of my residency, I can actually be an, a truly independent surgeon who can take care of a wide breadth of pathologies. And this is exactly what we see here at IU. When I had the interview here, I came and I met the people in the department. I was impressed by the department. But then I started walking around the city and seeing where will I live in the city with my kid and my wife and so on. It was a big move from the East Coast to the Midwest. And honestly, I find here that it's much more family friendly, not just the department, but the city as a whole. And I think we're just having a better quality of life in here with very intense training in my career that it's a win-win situation for everyone.